Welcome to Cancer Talk Tuesdays. I'm Whitney Tate, and joining me today is Dr. Joseph Miller, radiation oncologist at Southeast Cancer Center. Today we are discussing the latest improvements in radiation treatment, specifically catalyst technology. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Miller. You're welcome. I'm glad to be here. Yes. So what is Catalyst System? Catalyst System is a technology where, as radiation oncology delivery is given, ensures very accurate placement of the beams within a patient. And it allows us to use uh, avoidance technology to stay off of certain things. And one of the things we use it for is to stay off of the heart in ladies who have breast radiation for breast cancer. Can you tell us how this technology benefits breast cancer patients? Absolutely. We use this primarily for women who have left-sided breast cancer. And I have the confidence to tell them that we have a system here called the Catalyst System that allows us to monitor your chest wall motion very closely. And we train you how to take a, a deep breath like kids do when they jump in the mm -hmm. swimming pool, you know? And they take a big breath and expand their chest out. And the radiation only comes on when they're holding their breath. And that moves the, the breast further away from the heart. So one of the ways that uh, we have with the Catalyst system is, is digital. We have some goggles that the patient wears and their whole thorax and abdomen is tracked by infrared cameras that are mounted in a stereotactic fashion in the room. And so when we plan the radiation, we use those cameras to map out their chest wall and their breast. And by them using these goggles, they can see their chest moving. The beam comes on when their breast is the furthest away from the heart possible. And that allows us to give the radiation confidently and accurately, reproducibly, and minimize any scattered dose of or radiation to the heart itself. Can you explain how this technology spares healthy tissue? Yes, I can. Um, if you have your beam directly right at the front edge of the heart, you're gonna get some scatter radiation into the heart muscle or the left anterior descending artery and you want to try to minimize that. So if they can take a breath and move that breast further away from the heart, then that allows us to reduce the amount of scatter radiation and give less dose to the heart, working hard to minimize any dose to the heart to minimize risk of long-term heart disease. We've come a long way in radiation technology. How does Catalyst take it a step further? For me, the way I use Catalyst to help patients understand how far we go to help them is giving them assurance. Because when you come in to be treated, you're already frightened with the diagnosis of cancer. You're already terrified about treatment and goodness gracious, chemotherapy and radiation, it, it's just overwhelming. But when I can tell them we have a way to ensure that we can treat your breast appropriately and really minimize the amount of dose that we're giving to the lung and to the heart, that gives them that assurance that they need and they can go forward with more confidence, less anxiety, mm -hmm. and, and it, it, it really is a, a huge benefit for patients. Dr. Miller, is this one more way that patients are treated with the best technology? I believe it is. Um, when we made the decision to have this available, uh, it's not, it wasn't available anywhere else. And it's still not in this entire area. So we're unique in that way. And that's why I can tell my patients that need breast radiation that you will be getting the best available treatment and the most assurance of keeping dose to a minimum to your heart and lungs. So it's, it is the best, it is world-class. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Miller. You're very welcome. It's been a pleasure, thank you. Thank you for watching Cancer Talk Tuesdays. Please visit schealth.org for more information about topics like this or to find a provider or schedule an appointment.